Setting the fillet radius. If we're going to use the fillet command, and a fillet is a rounded interior corner, uh, usually to relieve stress and the ease of the contour of the inside corners, and a round is an, is an exterior corner, but in AutoCAD we use the fillet for both interior and exterior rounds. So if I want to round off this corner, I'll use the fillet command. And we typically need to set the radius for that. So first of all, let's go up and get a fillet command. So up here is the fillet command. I'm going to click on it and it'll say, all right, select first object. But before we do that, I want to set the radius. So I click on the radius. By default, the radius is zero. So it's a kind of a squared off corner. So I'm going to put a radius of, let's say, half inch. I'm going to hit enter. It'll ask me to pick the first object. I'll pick on the line. And I'll pick on the other line near it. And when I pick on it, it previews then when I'm, I haven't selected yet, but as I'm hovering over it, it previews our fillet. And when I pick, it puts a fillet on there and cleans up the intersection. Now, if I want to do that again, I'll go up to fillet. I'm going to come down and select radius. This time I'm going to put a one inch radius. I'll come up and I'll pick and I'll come and ho hover over it and you'll see it shows me the preview and I pick on it and it gives me a one inch radius alright um, I can go generally any size as long as it's capable to fit in that geometry so if I picked a huge huge radius it might not work you know 2000 foot radius in this tiny little piece but I can come down and set the radius to let's say 1.5 and you can see that the pick the line and pick the line and there we go all right now let's take a look at perhaps now if I were to go up and do the radius again, AutoCAD remembers the last radius it was set to. So if I don't go down and set the radius, it'll put it at the one and a half because that's the last one I've done here. Now, I can have a radius of zero if I go up to fill it and I go down to radius and I type in zero. I pick on one line. I pick on another line. It'll automatically join the two lines together. I can do that at any angle. These lines don't have to be at any particular angle to put a fillet on them. So I can just come over here, pick on one line, pick on another, and it's got a radius of zero because remember the last radius. Now, let's say I'm going along and I'll draw a couple of lines here and I went up and I put a radius in and let's say I got a radius of 2 and now oops, I didn't see that, I won't do that again, sorry folks let's go up and do a radius of 2 it didn't look like I typed in 2 and boom, I got a radius of 2. Now, let's say I'm coming along and it's set to 2 currently. And let's say I want it to be set to 0. Let's just do a little shortcut this time. Alright, I'm going to go up to the radius. I know it's set to 2. But if I hold down my shift key and I pick each line, that is a shortcut to set the radius to zero without changing the actual the value. So now, if I came back in and I just did a fillet command, right, it's still set to two, two inches. So 
holding the shift key down will temporarily set it to zero. And so fillets are a very fast way of putting rounded interior or exterior corners on objects.